All right, today I actually want to talk about uh, Hyperpanel. Um, Hyperpanel is a different type of bar that you can put at the top of your screen, um, similar to Waybar, which is pretty much default in most Hyperland configurations. And one of my Discord members um, actually mentioned Hyperpanel and we both started trying it out and I don't think we're gonna turn back <laughs> at this point. So yeah, so I really feel like this is a great tool to kind of make what make Hyperland um, a little bit more yours has so much customization which I'm going to dive into here in a second but I really feel like you should definitely try it out and and see if you like it for yourself but it has uh, kind of changed the way um, you know my desktop functions and there's a lot of um, integration within the uh, system that it has so yeah I'm just going to go and uh, dive right in as far as uh, installing it I did have a little bit of issues um, initially installing it uh, but I don't think I I didn't really go in order of uh, operations here. I was kind of skipping around um, when doing the installation process. So I definitely just, like, uh, just suggest going down the line and making sure you're doing every step that's here um, and you don't miss anything uh, to make sure you can get it installed. But you do have to install um, all the dependencies. Um, there are options down here to install all the dependencies through um, pacman or a aur if you're on arch and it does show you how to do it on fedora and um, nixos as well i am on arch and so i just went through the uh, dependencies install for for arch um and i just did the pacman option and then able to install uh the nerd fonts and the uh the repo um here for uh hyperland and you do want to um change your startup to have the ags uh which launches the hyper panel in uh as soon as you um log into your desktop so yeah so uh, this video in particular is not about how, you know how to install it i kind of just wanted to go into um all the different things and configurations that you can that you can use um with this so basically um, this is the bar here um at the top of my screen and um, mine i just have like a uh, kind of a floating bar um, with some circle you know rounding at the end um, that's typically how i like to have it and it has um, all of my desktops um, available here and if i do switch to a different monitor it does switch um, the desktop as you see which one's highlighting as i move my mouse um, to different monitors um, and it also shows um, which um, application you have uh, currently um, in focus um, so as i move my um, cursor around it does show me which one is in focus so kitty terminal um, zen alpha and so on and so forth and if i go over here um, you can obviously see that you know it just changes depending on what i have um, open on there you do also have uh, the media option and then you have all the other options which you can't see on my other screen but i'll i'll go ahead and actually show that really quickly so yeah as you can see um, on this screen this has all of my um, other options like volume uh, the internet connection, Bluetooth, you know, all your typical things, your taskbar, um, uh, everything that's running and open and your date and time. Um, and then the same information over there. Uh, this is my other uh, monitor that shows my um, uh, information. So that's not the main monitor that I use here, but I'll switch back to the other one now. So yeah, so let's get into um, all the customization you can do in here. So you have this little dashboard menu um, that you have over here. You can change, you know, everything in here. You can um, update the image, um, all of these images on here, um, icons, pretty much anything. So uh, I'm just gonna dive into the configuration here, which is the, the reason why I love this so much is because it actually has like a GUI um, configuration option. Um, and you don't have to dive into you know a bunch of CSS files and um, different configuration files and d do all this um, things in the terminal. You can do everything right here. Um, it's fully customizable. You can change um, your font, your size, weight. Um, you can import or export different configurations. So if you do, you know, want to export this and you know install it on another computer or you know need to reset your computer and install your um, your distro again, then you're, you're able to import that again. And so you have all of your different options um, in here as far as scaling. So you can change the, the size of the bar. So mine's pretty small up there for the sake of the video. Maybe I should like make it a little bit bigger so you can see a little bit better. So as you can see, um, it is getting uh, larger up there. 
and then you can change the scaling proportions of everything um, that you have up here as far as your volume and um, clock, notifications, power menu, everything. Um, so that's what you have under general. And then you have your bar itself. Um, this is where you can change um, if you have it floating or not. Um, so if I undo floating, it, it's you know docked onto the, the top of the screen. You can change which side of the screen it's on. Um, so I can make it on the bottom, um, on the top, um, really wherever. And everything's pretty instant um, as far as you know when you're configuring it. So I can make it you know floating again like that. And you can enable your buttons and borders um, as well. And then everything you can change the spacing, the size. Uh, literally everything every little minute <laughs> little customization you can do right in here and then here's your like your dashboard um, menu so that's this you can change the icon um i just have like the the regular arch icon but you can pretty much change that to, to anything you want and then you have your your workspaces so i have um my workspaces on all my monitors and i do have them you know changing colors i do have the number identifier so if you turn that number off it it's you know it goes to these pill options kind of like how gnome has it um but you can change the way that looks and uh feels based on you know your liking and then it has window titles so that's the titles that you know show up over here you can change you know what happens when you left click it right click it use you know class name uh whatever you want uh to use there um you can just um change the way you you, you want that to to show up and then you also have uh, the volume uh, network, so you can change the how the network is um, configured on there. You have Bluetooth, uh, battery, your system tray, your uh, clock settings, um, and all of these have different, like, you know, spacing and everything to to change the the way it looks and and, and feels as far as um, how it's shown in your your bar there. Um, you'd also have the media. Um, which is really nice because it shows any music playing, no matter what you're playing it from, whether you're playing it from like your browser or, um, you know, Spotify or whatever the um, media tool that you're using, it'll it'll play in here and have the album art show and everything. So that's really nice. And uh, it's immediately configured and um, working out of the gate, which is nice. And then you have your notifications, which notifications are pretty nice as well. I have mine turned off, obviously, because I'm recording a video, but all of your not notifications um, show up in this little you know, box over here. You can clear them very easily um, and see them. And the notification little uh, pop up is really nice the way it, way it shows up. You can mark it as red or um, reply to it straight from the little notification that pops up. Um, so it really gives you a really cohesive system um, you know, with your Hyperland uh, install here. And so you can go through pretty much all of these, like it's so detailed. There's, there's honestly a lot of information. It's a little bit overwhelming at first, but the fact that you have all these options to dive into is what I really like about it. So you can change with like the default, you know, monitor um, that the notifications, you know, show on based on um, what you wanted to do, you know, follow the cursor that like, there's so, so many settings. Um, you have like your dashboard menu, um, the, the, profile icon that you want to, to show up in there so i have you know my image the black dawn image there and i have black dawn as the system you know profile name you can change the rounding so i think originally it was like more of a square so i, I made it rounded and you can change literally everything all the shortcuts um so i changed mine to uh like zen browser and have telegram open um in web ports they had some different things in here i can't remember exactly what they had but they had like i think they had edge browser <laughs> up here and then something else um in here as well but um it integrates with your your color picker um your screenshot tool um so basically you can just change like what the actual icon looks like and then whatever command you want so you literally make the command you know whatever you want the command to be you know based on what you put the icon to match it and then you have the it have the option to open directly into some of your directories here so you can go straight into your downloads documents videos pictures um, and everything there so you know that's really nice um, to be able to dive into you know different you know files and stuff right right from your your dashboard menu here and um, it also does show like your uh, CPU usage RAM usage and uh, your storage as well so that's a nice touch to have that you know right in your, your menu there and then you also have uh, different custom modules like the how the RAM, the CPU, the storage, how all those um, work. Um, you do have like your keyboard layout that you can add updates. So like your uh, 
to show how many like updates are available. Um, I haven't set that one up myself yet, but I probably will. So it has weather um, and, and power as well. But really what the really cool part of this is, is the theming. You could do all of the theming, you know, directly from in this panel as well. So you can literally change pretty much everything. You can change the colors, the size, so all the, the coloring and the, the border width and radius um, are all in here under like the general settings. So if I actually go to the, the bar um, settings here, I can make this you know completely transparent if I want to. So you can't see um, the actual bar itself. So it's kind of similar to like most hyperlink configurations where everything kind of transparent at the top and then you have like two different sectional um, options. Um, you can make that transparent or you can you know bring that back. You can change the background opacity, which, which I did for the, the bar up here. So it's like, you know, semi-transparent over there. You can change the hover colors, pretty much anything. It, it's pretty crazy, um, the amount of customization that you can do in here. And it's very simple. Like if I want to change my workspaces, like the hover color I have as like this purple color, if I want to change that to green, I just click on that and select green and then boom, the, the hover color is green. It's like beyond simple <laughs> um, on how to do this. So. There isn't much like, you know, learning curve. Um, I think the biggest learning curve is just knowing where the options are, because um, there's so many options available to you in here that uh, it does get a little overwhelming to, to find what you need. But um, just learning where they are is, is the hardest part. But once you know, it's just it's pretty you know straightforward as far as changing the colors and everything. But yeah, I just want to make this you know, kind of uh, you know make people more aware of this. Uh, hyper panel i'll put the description um or the website in the description of how to install it and uh yeah if you uh like the content that i put out and the type of videos um, please consider liking and subscribing and i'll catch you in the next one peace